I'm Christina Smith. I work for the Parks Department in the Integrated Pest Management Technician. So this is the Caterkiller 2000. And basically in the spring every year we get uh, forest tent caterpillars come and they eat the leaves off of all of our trees. And so what we do is we go around and usually we pick and squish them by hand. So the first year that I did this I went out and we picked and squished by hand all the caterpillars on the tree. And then the next year, uh, I realized it would be a lot handier if I had something that I could reach them with because I'm not as tall as a lot of the trees. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought of a curling broom because it's just a pad. And I basically took it out and it works perfectly. We'd go around and if we saw them on a tree, usually it would be first thing in the morning we'd go out because they tend to mass on a tree. So they'd be a kind of on a clump on the bark. And we'd go around and with gloves on, you'd squish them with your hands. And then a lot of the time there would be a mass, but it would be on a taller tree up high. And we would basically have to leave it. We'd put a flag on that tree and we'd have to come back every morning and hope that they would go down lower so that we could actually reach them. Uh, barring that, eventually when they got to a certain stage in their life development, we would actually have to spray pesticides on them, so we were always trying to avoid that. But with the caterpillar, we can reach them at higher heights, so we don't have to continually come back to the trees all the time to check them, we can just get it done the first time. So I used to work at a sports store, and I sold a lot of these, I'm not much of a curler, but I basically just thought, I took a normal broom out first and tried it, but with the bristles of a normal broom, it tend to scratch the bark of some of the really thin bark trees. And then I just thought of the curling broom because it doesn't have bristles and it's still got, you know, the reach that you need and it's nice and soft and won't damage anything on the tree. You can go out, we can reach them the first time, get them all and then move on. And we don't have to continually run back and check the trees that we flagged from days before. Sometimes it's nicer doing it with the broom because you, when you see a really big glob of crawling caterpillars, you don't always want to jump in there with your hands. So sometimes if there's a tree that's really badly infested, it's really nice to have this. Just for the ew factor, you don't have to actually touch them. <laughs> have to use ladders so it saves a lot of time uh, there's not having to first of all the danger of being on a ladder it's one of the most dangerous things you can do at work is be on top of a ladder especially because when you're in a park there's not even ground um, so it really saves a lot of time and it keeps everybody safer keeps them on the ground a ladder would take a lot of time you'd have to set it up you'd have to have somebody standing there to spot you You'd have to reach up there, and I mean, in these trees, it's not always the easiest thing to get up there, so it really does save a lot of time being able to just kind of use this and then go along. It's a, it's a positive benefit to the city just because we don't have to use pesticides to, or to spray the caterpillars when they don't ever come down. Eventually, at a certain point in their life stage, they turn into a moth and they fly away, so we have to try and get them controlled before then. Um, and this just allows us to be able to reach them faster and better without the use of pesticides.